interesting as you move around the church how it looks because we were up close, but when you're back here, it's very slight. Very yeah, more subtle. Yeah, because you know, we're right here. Right. But you know, if you think about it, you're standing right here. Hi, Charlotte. Good morning. Red book, so you want the red book page numbers? Okay. Oh.
me out.
Blessed is our God, always now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee, heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere, filling all things, treasure of good things, giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us of every stain. Save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, power, and glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to the Orthodox over their adversaries and guard your commonwealth with your cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are lifted up upon the cross of your own will, Christ our God. Grant your mercy upon the people that bear your name. In your strength, make glad the Orthodox, giving them victory over their adversaries. May they have your alliance as a weapon of peace and an invincible trophy, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and ever-present protection, do not overlook, O gracious one, our supplications. Most praise, Theotokos, establish the Orthodox people. Save those whom you have called to govern and grant them victory from above. For you, blessed one, have given birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God. According to thy great mercy, we beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for pious and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Isaiah and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory. To the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life creating, and undivided Trinity, always now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, why are they who afflict me multiplied? Many rise up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I laid down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord has protected me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, my God, for you have struck all who without cause are my enemies. You have broken the teeth of sinners. Salvation belongs to the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I have laid down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord has protected me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand is pressed heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh in the face of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my transgressions have risen higher than my head. They have pressed heavily upon me as a heavy burden. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my foolishness. I have been wretched and bowed down utterly until the end. All day long I went with downcast face. For my soul is filled with mocking and there is no health in my flesh. I have been afflicted and I have been greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. But, O oh Lord, all my desires before you and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled. My strength has failed me and the light of my eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew up against me and stood still, and my nearest relatives stood far off. And they who sought my soul used violence, and they who sought evil from me spoke vain things, and they meditated craftiness all day long. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and I was a speechless man who opened not his mouth. And I became a man who hears not and has no reproofs in his mouth. For I have hoped in you, O Lord, you will listen to me, O Lord my God. For I said, Never let my enemies rejoice over me. Yes, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity and be distressed for my sin, but my enemies live and are mightier than I, and they who hated me unjustly are multiplied. They who render me evil for good have slandered me because I followed righteousness. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Be attentive to my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, early at dawn I rise to you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a barren, untrodden, and unwatered land. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory, for your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I shall bless you while I live, and I will lift up my hands in your name. 
Let my soul be filled with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouths of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is filled with evil, and my life draws near to Hades. I am counted with those who go down into the pit. I am like a man without help, adrift among the dead, like the bodies of the slain who sleep in the grave, whom re you remember no more, and are cut off from your hand. They have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the shadow of your death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up, and I cannot get out. My eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried to you, Lord, the entire day. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise them up so that they might thank you? Shall any in the grave speak of your mercy and your truth in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But as for me, I have cried out to you, Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul and turn away from me? I am a poor man and in trouble. From my youth, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Your fierce wrath has gone over me, and your terrors have sorely troubled me. They came around me all day long like water. They engulfed me altogether. You have put far away from me friend and neighbor and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. He forgives all your iniquities. He heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption. He crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of mercy and justice for all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor has he rewarded us according to our sins. For as heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our iniquities from us. As a father has compassion upon his son, so has the Lord compassion upon those who fear him. For he knows what we are made of, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom. For the wind passes over it, then it shall be gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity to eternity upon those who fear him, and his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all of his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word. He the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, who minister of his, who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. <clears throat> Lord, hear my prayer. In your truth, give ear to my supplications. In righteousness, hear me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is justified in your sight. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. My spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is distressed. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I pondered on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longs for you like, like a thirsty land. Lord, hear me quickly. My spirit fails. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Let me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I have put my trust. Lord, teach me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. To you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me on a level path. Lord, for your name's sake, you shall preserve my life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of trouble. And in your mercy, you shall utterly destroy my enemies. And you shall destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me on a level path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie with the peace from above and salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. 
peace in the world, the stability of the churches of God, the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Pious and Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop Isaiah, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. The President of our country, all civil authorities, and our forces on land and in the air, let us pray to the Lord. City for every city and land, for the faith who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by sea, land, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our deliverance from all tribulation with danger and necessity and the perils of the virus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Brothers, sisters who need the fight against the virus, doctors, medical workers, scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and Neva Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. You belong all glory, honor, worship to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Of this holy church. God is the Lord, and He appeared to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. God is the Lord, and He appeared to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations circled me, and I warded them off with the name of the Lord. God is the Lord, and he appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he appeared to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Magnificent our face accomplishments, the holy map martyr Theodore greatly rejoiced as he stood in the fountain of fire, as if beside the still waters. He was consumed by fire and offered like sweet bread to the Trinity. At his entreaties, O Christ God, save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Magnificent our face accomplishments. The holy martyr Theodore greatly rejoiced as he stood in the fountain of fire, as if beside the still waters. He was consumed by fire and offered like sweet bread to the Trinity. At his entreaties, O Christ God, save our souls. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely glorified, O Virgin Theotokos. We sing your praise, for by means of your son's crucifixion has Hades been overthrown and death itself has died. We have risen, who once were dead, and have been made worthy of life. 
We receive the original enjoyment of paradise, and therefore with thanksgiving we send up glory to Christ our God, because he is powerful and alone very merciful. Oh. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Memory of holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and of Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. A cross was fixed on well. earth and touched the heavens. Not we that the tree the heavens, reached the heights, but you who were on it filled the universe. Lord, glory to you. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. You were lifted up, Lamb of God, on cypress, pine, and cedar, that you might save those who worship in faith your voluntary crucifixion. Christ our God, glory to you. Shelter us under the Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Having gained the cross of your Son, O Mother of God, as a rod of power, with it we shall cast down the ramparts of the foes, as with love we ceaselessly magnify you. You were struck with blows for the sake of the human race and were not in vain. Free our life from corruption, Lord, and save us. God, our King, uh, God is our King before the ages. He works salvation in the midst of the earth. The armies of the angels were amazed as they contemplate your measureless authority and your voluntary crucifixion. How is he who cannot be looked at scourged in the flesh? He wishes to deliver human nature from corruption. And so we cry out to you, giver of life, glory, O Christ, to your compassion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> your pure mother, who knew not wedlock, seeing you hanging dead upon the tree, mourned as a is this how the lawless and ungrateful people of the Hebrews who had the benefit of your many great and, and many and great gifts? Have you repaid my son? I am your divine condescension. <clears throat> Dishonored you endured the cross, O Master, beyond all creation, that you might honor me of all dreadfully dishonored. With a lance you were pierced in your side, O long suffering. As you wish to ransom me, your fashioning from corruption, I am your great compassion and your goodness, O lover of human kind. God is wondrous.
rest in his saints armored with the panoply of christ and clothed with the weapons of faith you stoutly cast down the battle lines of the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. As your mother, and all blameless virgin, who knew not where long, saw you nailed to the tree, O Master. She cried out to you, Alas, my son, alas, my sweetest son, how has a lawless people condemned you, the maker and master of all, to the tree? I am your supreme. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you have loved truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be made clean. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which I are humbled shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice greatly in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled God heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar. Once you had taken the faith of Christ into your heart like a suit of armor, you trampled the hostile forces underfoot, having contended much, and you were crowned with heavenly laurels forever, as one invincible. We gladly in faith extol you, who are carried on a throne of light, for you have given us a divine gift, Theodore, who was brave in the contest and thrice blessed in his life, as being a champion of the truth. Having a pious frame of mind, he obtained you, O Christ, and against the deceiver, he proved to be a mighty victor, as one invincible. On the 17th of this month, we commemorate the holy great martyr Theodore the Tyro. On this day, we commemorate Saint Mariamne, sister of Saint Philip the Apostle. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Oxybius, Bishop of Solon in Cyprus. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Theosterictus, and the finding of the holy relics of Saint Menas, the, the most eloquent. On this day, we commemorate the sovereigns, Marcion and Pulcheria of pious memory. Their synaxis is held in the great church. On this day, the holy new martyr Theodore, the Byzantine, was perfected in martyrdom by hanging in Mytilene in the year 1795. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Fintan, 
Bishop of Clonanoff, the father of Irish monks. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father Theodore, the silent of the Kiev caves. On this day, we commemorate our righteous fathers Theodosius and Romanus of Bulgaria. On this day, we commemorate the holy Hieromartyr, Hermogenes, Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father Barnabas of the of Gethsemane, of the Gethsemane Chernigov Hermitage, who repo reposed in peace in the year 1906. On this day, we commemorate the holy new Hieromartyr Theodore, priest of Udobnaya, who was slain by the atheists in the year 1918. On this day, we commemorate our righteous and God-bearing father Nicholas Planos, presbyter of Athens, who reposed in peace in the year 1932. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Let us honor and magnify the Theotokos and the Mother of the Light. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Logos. To thee the Theotokos you do we magnify. For he is regarded the lowly state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Logos, to be the Theotokos, you do we magnify. For the Mighty One has done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him unto generation and generation. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Logos, to be the Theotokos, you do we He performed mighty deeds with his army, confounded the proud in the intention of their heart. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Logos, to be the Theotokos, you do we he deposed the mighty from their thrones and exalted the humble. He filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Logos, to be the Theotokos, you do we magnify. With unceasing hymns of praise, we glorify and magnify you, the unwedded mother of the Most High God. By your word you gave birth to the true God inexplicably, and you are higher than the immaculate angelic holes. It is truly right to bless you, Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Logos. To be the Theotokos, you do we magnify. Again and again in peace.
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of the heavens praise you, and to you they send up glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. You now provide abundantly healings and cures and gifts of grace to everyone who entreats you. Saint Theodore, medal winner, and since you speak with confidence whenever you address the Lord, you come to the assistance and rescue of those who pray you with ardent faith, O all blessed one. <clears throat> o Lady pure and undefiled, you carried in your arms the Lord who with his pure hand established all things and by it controls them. O oh, blessed maiden, pray to him to rescue me out of the hand of that most beguiling dragon who shamelessly convulses my poor heart with soul-destroying pleasures. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him.
Praise him with sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. Let us, let us, O oh feast lovers, all now observe a sumptuous feast. On this most gay occasion, the festival of the martyr, and faithfully rejoice as we honor the bright holy feast day of his demise. Let us extol the Lord Jesus with sacred songs, for he glorified his memory. Praise him with timberland dance, praise him with strings and flute. O oh, faithful, let us unite now and using one voice extol that valiant heavy armed soldier of the heavenly army, Saint Theodore, the strong hoplite of our faith, singing mystical odes to him. Martyr of Jesus, you are worthy of our all. Will you pray for us who honor you? Praise him with resounding symbols. Praise him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. By your great feasts as a, by your great feats as a martyr, you did amass in yourself the holy wealth and brilliance of the orthodox doctrine. You gave all your might as an acceptable gift unto God, O Saint Theodore. And in your contests you truly fulfilled your name, for it also means a gift to Oh, you are the truth.
It is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world, the stability of the churches of God, the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. This holy house and those into the faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Archbishop Isaiah, the honorable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The president of our country, all civil authorities, and armed forces, and all that in the air, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city, for every city and land, for the faith who dwell in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth in peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by sea, land, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, with danger and necessity, and the perils of the virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our sisters, brothers, who lead the fight against the virus, doctors. Medical workers and scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. It is good to confess unto the Lord and to chant unto your name, O Most High. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. To proclaim in the morning your mercy and your truth at night. Tes pres fiestis Theotoku, so tes Upright is the Lord our God, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have Memory mercy. Memory of holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves to one another 
In all our life, to Christ our God. To you. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I exist. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous among your saints. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. So, so ni masi eteu, o anahis amastos, salon dasi alleluia. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, your God, O Zion, from generation to generation. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous among your saints. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, though immortal for our salvation, you deign to be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, and were crucified Christ our God, trampling death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another in all our life to Christ our God. To you, For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Magnificent our face accomplishments. The holy martyr Theodore greatly rejoiced as he stood in the fountain of fire, as if beside the still waters. He was consumed by fire and offered like sweet bread to the Trinity. At his entreaties, O Christ God, save our souls. Wisdom arise, come let us worship and bow down to Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who are risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Magnificent our face accomplishments, the holy martyr Theodore greatly rejoiced as he stood in the fountain of fire, as if beside the still waters. He was consumed by fire and offered like sweet bread to the Trinity. At his entreaties, O Christ God, save our souls. You were a champion of the first council, O Spirit on, and a wonder worker, O Spirit on our God bearing Father. You did speak to one dead in the grave, and did change a serpent into gold, 
while you were chanting your holy prayers, the angels celebrated with you, O most sacred one. Glory to him who has glorified you. Glory to him who has crowned you. Glory to him. Our Kentuckian today, if you want to sing with me, is on page 233. Bestow your mercies on the people called by your name. Christ God, who freely let yourself be raised on the cross to all who bow. Sing them with victory over every foe. For having you as their ally, they possess a weapon of peace, an invincible trophy of victory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and you we send up glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God. Holy mighty. St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Let us listen attentively. Brethren, you are the body of Christ and individually members of it, and God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, 
think this is incorrect. I think that's incorrect. second I got the wrong it's wrong I know what it is just let me get a Bible a Bible okay Let us listen to the reading attentively. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to Timothy. Let us be Timoth attentive. Timothy, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you have heard from me before many witnesses, entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Share in suffering as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier on service gets entangled in civilian pursuits, since his aim is to satisfy the one who enlisted him. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. It is the hard-working farmer who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will grant you understanding in everything. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, descended from David, as preached in my gospel the gospel for which I am suffering and wearing fetters like a criminal. But the word of God is not fettered. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain salvation in Christ Jesus with its eternal glory. Peace be with you, the reader. Gospel, peace be with all of you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to go about in long robes and love salutations in the marketplaces and the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts, who devour widows' houses for a pretense and make long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. He looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury, and he saw a poor widow put into copper coins. And he said, truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For they all contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all the living that she had. Having said this, he proclaimed, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Glory to you. and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages Amen Let us
Complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who entered with faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, and the perils of the virus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, totally peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Forgiveness, Lord. remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Those things that are good and beneficial to our souls and peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. To complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant Christian, end of our lives, painless and ashamed, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this Remembering our holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and of a Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. Through the compassion of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your Spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we will confess. Christ is in our midst. Let us be attentive. I believe, I believe in one in God, God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made who for us and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered and was buried. Rising on the third day according to the scriptures and ascending into the heavens, he is seated at the right hand of the Father and coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive, the holy offering is being presented in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. Singing the victorious hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord of
This is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Your own, of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. Again, we offer to you this rational and bloodless worship, and we ask and pray and beseech you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. especially for our holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary. It is truly right to call you blessed, O Theotokos, ever-blessed and most pure, and the Archbishop Isaiah, whom you have granted to serve early churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy with length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth, and those whom each of us has in mind. And all people everywhere. And all your people. And grant them with one mouth and one heart. We may glorify and praise your honored and magnificent name. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let our God who loves mankind as we see them at his holy and super heavenly and noetic altar as a sweet spiritual fragrance. In return, send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all life to Christ our God. To you, And make us worthy master that with confidence without condemnation we may dare to call upon you, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. Through the grace and compassion and love for mankind of the only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life greeting spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. The holy things are for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord. I believe, I believe and, and confess, confess Lord, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you, Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, forgive me an unworthy priest and a sinful man. My brothers, forgive me. Be all there for Christ. Oh,
I give back to the Lord for all he rendered to me. I will lift up the the cup of salvation and call upon the name, the name of the Lord, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the son of your handmaid. You broke apart my bonds. I will lift up Charlotte receives much precious by Christ, Mr. Sins of Life Eternal. The servant of God, Seraphim, receives much precious by Christ, Mr. Sins of Life Eternal. Amen. Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity. The Trinity who has saved us. Itho mento fosto alithinon, ev lavo men pema apuronion, ev romen pistin alithi. A theere ton triatha proski nundes. A theorimas esose. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true Worshipping the undivided Trinity, the Trinity who has saved us. Blessed is our God, be exalted above the ages, who is now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Oh. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. You have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. For you are sanctification, and to you we send up glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You bless blesses those who bless you, O Lord, and who sanctifies those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church and sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. 
Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your clergy, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good giving and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now endeavor to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. This morning, as we close out our liturgy, we're going to offer a memorial for my grandmother, my Yaya Dora. Um, if you, well, you don't have the white service book, so we invite you to pray along with us. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost. O Savior, call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Of old you created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. But when I disobeyed your commandment, O Lord, you cast me down to the earth from where I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the three full radiance of the one God. Let us praise and let us shout in song. Holy are you, eternal Father, co-eternal Son and divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia. Perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the soul of your servant. Bestow upon her the blessed life, which is from you, O loving one. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the soul of your servant, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, you are God who descended into Hades and loosened the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also, Savior, to the soul of your servant. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. 
most pure and spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the soul of your servant. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Theodora, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all her sins, both voluntary and involuntary. May the Lord God place their souls with a righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins. From Christ our mortal King and God. Grant this, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled down death and have abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Give rest to the soul of your departed servant Theodora in a place of light, in a place of repose, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin she has committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and is sinless. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant Theodora, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory, the all holy, good, and originate Father, the only good and life creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. May her memory be eternal. May her memory be eternal. May mercy come upon you through his divine grace in love always now and ever and to ages of ages Amen. glory to thee our God and our hope glory to thee may Christ our true God through the intercessions of his all pure and all blameless holy mother by the power of the precious and life giving cross through the protection of the honorable heavenly pilot's powers through the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet foreigner Baptist John of the holy glorious and all praise with the apostles of our holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, of our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy glorious victorious martyrs and our venerable God-bearing fathers, of Saint Spirit on patron saint of this holy church, of the holy righteous answer of God, Joy Kimenan, and of the saints, of Theodore the great martyr, whose memory we commemorate today, of Mariamni, equal to the apostles, of the venerable Akskentios, of Marcianos and Plucheria, the pious rulers, and Theodore, the new martyr of Byzantium, whose memories we commemorate and celebrate this day, and of all thy saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity guide and protect each of you. In just a moment, our ushers will invite you forward to receive a blessing. Um, thank you for offering your prayers along with me, my mother, my Thea Vivian, my Aunt Vivian, and my wife. As we remember my, my grandmother, Theodora, Yaya Dora. She passed away on her feast day of St. Theodore. May her memory be eternal. May she rest among the saints.
There is, of course, uh, some of the coliflower boiled wheat for all of you who've come today as well. Stephanie. Hi, Jack. God bless you, Jack. Nice to see you, sweetheart. God bless you, Stephanie. Nice to see you this morning. Yeah, I remember where I stick glass. Nice to see you. Courtney? 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 Have you met Stephanie? You remember Stephanie, right? This is her son, Jack. How old is Jack again? I need to, I, I, if I had looked at it ahead of time, but I didn't look this morning, you know, I just assumed and never do that. Yeah. 